And my name is Melanie van Velde. I'm doing a PhD at the University of Glasgow um, at the Adam Smith Business School and my PhD is about social enterprises. My research is, is really looking into one of the key challenges of social enterprises which um, well in the literature but also find what I found during all the, uh, the interviews um, is around the balance between uh, achieving financial sustainability as well as the so social um, aims of a social enterprise and to strike that balance is, um, yeah, is just globally seen as, as one of the key challenges. So my, my research is really looking into um, how can you manage things around that challenge to make sure that a uh, social enterprise is strong as a business um, and also meets its social aims as, as well as possible. I think a really good example is, uh, for example, Brigade, which is a high-end restaurant in, uh, in London. Um, why it is such a good example is, is that um, I think they've really got the focus right um, and, and what Simon, who, who, who runs the, the, the social enterprise, will also say um, in, in one of the interviews is that he, he didn't get a balance right when he first started out um, starting up a social enterprise and focused a lot more on the social side. Um, and that seems to be quite a typical thing with social enterprises, that um, they start more around the social need and therefore focus a lot on that, instead of focusing on the market need um, and providing high quality service and product. Um, and I think that's one of the key findings of the research is, is, is to, to ultimately be, be a strong business and make sure that you survive with, with a strong financial um, base um, and also that you can then provide social impact um, that focus is really important, so that's one of the key findings from the research and, and Brigade shows that really well, is that you, you have to lead with the business. In a kind of bigger picture, um, social enterprises I think can play a really powerful role, not just in terms of helping you know, the, um, yes, the kind of client group they're working with directly, but also they are setting an example of um, how we can actually do business in a different way. So not just for uh, gaining individual wealth um, and, and, and individual profit for just a few, but to actually um, better society as a whole. And if you look at the world issues that we have in terms of inequality um, and kind of wars that can come from that, um, crime that can come from that, um, and, and yeah, some of the poverty that, that, that we face also even in, in, in Scotland and the UK. Um, yeah, social enterprises can make a, a quite a difference and, and I think if all businesses operated more like a social enterprise and like you, you can hear one of the, uh, the experts in the, in the film also, Liam Black, talk about that, that you know we should be heading more towards a socially enterprising economy um, and I think if we did, you know, we'd live in a much better world. Um, so I think to incentivize that for, for, from, from a kind of policy perspective, I think could have a huge impact uh, on, on many issues in, in society. Um, and because we operate in a, in a capitalist system that is, isn't so much balanced yet, I mean, there's a lot, you know, about capitalism that's really good. Um, and in, in terms of focusing on providing value and competing on that is, is you know, can be very beneficial for society and for, for, for everybody. Um, but when it's not balanced and if it's purely around creating individual wealth and not balanced with, you know, how do we look after, um, you know, people in the business, around the business, the environment, um, then it can be very harmful. So I think to op for social enterprises to operate within that can be tough in terms of competition that they face. So I think for policy makers to, to, to help around that and to set some advantages for not just social enterprises, but also corporates that try and be more socially enterprising, um, I think can have a huge impact. Um, yeah, I, th I think for policy makers, I think, um, I think most of them are already quite aware of uh, social enterprises, that it's kind of quite a strong upcoming trend, but that it can have a real powerful positive impact. Um, and I'm hoping that the, the research in the films emphasise that even, even more so. Um, but I think in addition, um, with some findings in the research, I think that, that, that really help uh, highlight, I think, what's important in running a successful social enterprise. Um, there are many social enterprises that really struggle and that will always still, I think, be quite maybe 
yeah, reliant on funding and grants and to some extent that, that's, that's good. But I think if, if the focus of the social enterprise and the strategy is right, it doesn't need to be maybe as much so. It could be, it could be a much stronger business model. Um, so I think to maybe understand some of those factors in how you can make a social enterprise stronger and more successful, um, I think that's, that's something I hope people will, will, will take from the research. Um, and lastly, one, one final point I think could be interesting for policymakers is that um, those findings don't just apply to social enterprises, but I think one of the key messages is like run, make sure you run a strong business and then incorporate the social uh, aims in your, in your social enterprise. And that also applies to corporates that want to be more like a social enterprise, maybe not to the same extent, but to some extent. And I think a lot of the findings will uh, be very useful for, for that um, and for policymakers to, to, I think, incorporate some of those things and to encourage corporates towards that trend to become more socially enterprising. Um, yes, yeah, so I hope it will, it will contribute to that as well. Well, the idea of the film really came about uh, when I talked about the research with, with people. Um, uh, and yeah, I was really keen to share some of the findings of the research as widely as possible because my aim was really to, yeah, to try and help people that try and develop social enterprises uh, with some knowledge and experience that has been gained worldwide. Um, I, I had to uh, lead a social enterprise myself for a while um, in Kenya and it was for girls making uh, fashion and jewellery and I absolutely loved it but found it really quite challenging compared to running a commercial project um, and had I learned what I've learned now through the research I think I could have done it a lot better um, and that social enterprise I think has made some typical um, mistakes that a lot of social enterprises make by focusing too much on the social need at first instead of treating it more as a business um, and so for me yeah, I was keen to, to, to share that as widely as possible with students and you know, people in the, in the sector that are interested in it. Um, and I think a film is just a much more powerful, more easy format to do that than, um, than writing reports and, and, uh, and a thesis, for example.